Hey everyone, how's it going? Right in front of you, I have two boxes. They contain Octominer X8 Ultra server style cases. And we're gonna unbox them and get a bit of a technical overview in this video today. And then the next video, we're actually gonna populate them and actually put them in a new location. So we're gonna get these unboxed, so this way we can take a look at them here right now. So here they are, freshly unboxed, front side, back side, and it comes with a little bag of screws for mounting the GPUs, and then a little welcome and assembly instructions. So let's go over the front first. You have two red anodized handles. On one side here, there is a lip with a single screw if you want to try to mount this to like a shelf or something like that. Up top here, we have a USB 2.0 and a VGA 15 pin for a crash cart. Like if you have a row of these, you can literally just have on a little cart, like they use in data centers, a screen and a keyboard that you plug right in here and you can get into the unit and figure out what's wrong with it. Next, you have six LEDs for status. Then you have three buttons. This one is power, this one is reset, and the third one is actually clear CMOS. If it's really acting stupid on you, you hit and hold this button for a few seconds after it's powered off, and it should reset the CMOS and we're good to go. This little protrusion right here is actually an environmental sensor. It tells you your temperature, humidity, pressure, stuff like that. Right below, there is actually a little blue OLED screen here that will display data once we power it on. You have your label, you have four fans, you also have easy access to the boot drive, which pulls right on out and you can go ahead and switch it around. And then just shove it right back in there. There you go. That takes care of the front side. Let's go to the back side now. Now you can see there's plenty of ventilation in here and each one of these slots are triple size slots. So you can fit a triple slot cart in each one of these. In the center here, this is essentially the motherboard breakout we have a reset switch or something back here you got four usb 3.0s an hdmi networking and that's it for that right there four more gpu spots then we got two power supplies and another environmental sensor let me put the camera down and we'll pull out the power supplies okay so let's pull out one of the power supplies pull that and these are HP Hewlett Packard 94 plus platinum rated power supplies. They are rated for 1200 watts max if you connect this to 240 volts. If you're only going to run these units on 120, these are good for 900 watts. So they give you two power supplies on 20, 240 volts, you're good for 2400 watts total or if you're on 120, you're good for 1800 watts total. So just keep that in mind, that will dictate what type of cards you can put in here. There we go. Now I like the release mechanism that they put on top of this. It's reminiscent of super micro server cases. It's literally just two push down buttons, pops open a little bit and lifts right off. So let's take an initial look inside. You can see eight slots for GPUs. Physically, they're 16X. I'm pretty sure they're only 1X electrically, so just keep that in mind. This right here is basically the motherboard of the unit, powered by six pin PCIe. You have coming out here to the side, your power and your SATA cable, which runs over to your hard drive. Inside here is a Celeron dual core processor with four gigs of DDR3 memory. Runs off the B85 chipset. And there's actually even an option here for an M SATA drive if you didn't want to use regular SATA. You can actually build it right on top of here, but they haven't populated that. They use regular SATA. Okay, now for the four case fans, they actually suck in, blow through your cards, and then come back out here for exhaust. Now, the reason why these fans are great is granted they are 120 millimeter fans, but 
when you usually look at them in a standard computer, they're 25 millimeters thick. These are 38 millimeters thick. So that gives the blades a lot more surface area to move a lot more air. They are rated at 170 CFM, 4,800 RPM, and 1.4 amps. This runs over to right here. This is the back side of all those buttons and everything. This is their own control board. Your fans are connected here. Your crash cart cable runs back over to the motherboard here. So that's how you get your VGA and your USB right on the side. You can also see down below here at the bottom, this is the front environmental sensor. Also runs up to this custom board. And I'm pretty sure on the back here, yep, here comes the back wires right here. Actually, wait, no, that's elsewhere. Nope, that goes to something else. That goes back to, oh, that goes back to a switch. Okay, that's a switch, switch wire. Um, that runs from there. Where is that environmental sensor? Oh, it is just two wires. Okay, here's the temp one. There we go, there's the other environmental sensor. Okay, so now this is the backside of the power supplies, and this is definitely a custom solution. I mean, come on, they even have a silk screen, the Octominer, on the PCB itself. Uh, there are three little lights here, 12 volts, SysB, and P power supply on. So we'll see that in a future video when we actually power this unit on. Comes pre-wired with the correct lengths for each card inside here so you don't have bundles of wires everywhere it's already pre-sized and the top half of all these connectors is just for your gpu pcie power the bottom half is already pre-wired and actually runs underneath here to a bunch of pcie pins that runs your power for all your cards coming through the uh pci express ports now the one thing we will have to do before we start this unit up in the next video Right back here on the corner is a CR2032 watch battery. That is not installed because it messes with shipping with lithium ion batteries, even though it's tiny. So you do need to add this in so this way the BIOS can save its settings. Otherwise this thing's gonna act wonky as all heck. So that's pretty much all I wanted to show you with the units today. Just a technical analysis of what's included with these units. Next time we will power them up. And if we go over to the crypto closet here, we will be taking all the GPUs, one rig, all the Vegas, and then my mixed rig down here. All of those are going into those Octominers, power it up, get it set up. Then, let's see if I can back up enough. I recently got myself a full length server cabinet. We open it on up. It needs to be configured correctly. It's not configured yet. But I got it for free and it's in great condition. So, what I'm thinking of, we're going to move some of these um, shelves around. Both of the Octominers are going to stand vertically here on the bottom. And most likely, right between them, we'll throw the mini doge just so it looks cute. Then, we're going to put my Chia server, which is actually sitting right here with a new well new to me 24 port hp switch that will be thrown right here in the middle and then right above i will have two shelves just of my motherboards for cpu mining then after that i'll have one more shelf and i'll have this whole top area up here available and open for two more Octominer cases, maybe this upcoming spring. So thanks for watching. If you like this, thumbs up, please. There will be more content for this coming up real soon. Come say hi in the Mining Misfits Discord. I will catch you on the next video.